Tonight, we're going into the jungle. And for those of you not familiar, that would be Pittsburgh State. The Gorillas down in, uh, not Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, by the way. Pittsburgh, I believe, Kansas. They've got themselves quite a stadium down there. It is, uh, I think, pretty widely known as one of the best in all of Division II football. Take a look at the jungle right here. How about it, man? Really sweet stuff. Technically not named the jungle, although it is uh, a pretty epic nickname. The technical name of the stadium is Carney Smith Stadium, and uh, this is one that has been around, I mean, forever. And you get actually a sneak peek at some of the other facilities here. Uh, this is just from the Pitt State website, weight room and meeting rooms and some of the other things, but I wanted to show off those first couple clips of the weight room. We'll take a closer look at the, the stadium itself here in just a second. But the stadium, man... Groups came together. Like, when I tell you this stadium has been around, I mean this thing has been around for more than a century, right? I mean, we're coming up right on that. In 1923, faculty, alumni, and community came together in 1923, excuse me, to provide the funding for this stadium. That is incredible. And again, get you one more look here at the, at kind of the overview of it. That's awesome. I can tell you right now, it did not look like this in 1923, but that's when it came together. It was at, at the time a 5,000 seat stadium. And uh, this is a team, Pittsburgh State. And once again, for those of you who are not familiar, this is the winningest team in Division II football history. Over 725 wins. And in their 100 and what, 13 or 115 years of of whatever they're averaging almost seven wins a season in that time and for again anyone who knows college football knows how freaking ridiculous that is to average almost seven wins a season as a top caliber division two or just a ncaa football team in general here's a cool time lapse uh from 2011 on game day against uh william jewel it looks like but this is something that man like this stadium is there are a couple other ones in division two that certainly rival it but this is this is part of the top, right? If we're doing like, we should do a tier list, honestly, of all the D2 stadiums maybe in the country. This would be probably an S tier, potentially A, either A or S tier type of stadium, right? Like this is right up there with all the best. Um, and looking, reading more into some of the information. This has gone through obviously a lot of different renovations. In 2001, they had a $5.7 million expansion project. So that was the second level of seating you see there on the left side. Um, you got 16 luxury skybox suites, elevators, new restrooms, concession stands, ticket booths, renovated locker rooms, oh, the whole deal. It also added 2,300 seats to uh, bring up the capacity to about 8,000. And then in 2006, they came back, put $2.6 million onto that, added uh, eight luxury skybox suites to be added in addition to the west side with more elevator access. And uh, they finally got a big-time video board in 2008, 1.7 mil. Holy cow. It's 2,800 square feet of, quote, vibrant video and scoring updates. It remains the largest university stadium video board in the state of Kansas. That's incredible. That is incredible. This is a team and a community that is so invested in football and this program. And for anyone, I think the best example, that's probably the gorilla walk they do pregame. They walk out and do the uh, statue. I'll pull it up here for those of you not familiar. But that's just not something that you see so often at the D2 level. Like, um, I know a lot of uh, the Tiger Walk or like other things, the Clemson, like a lot of... Um, Big time Division One teams will try and do that, uh, and they do. But Division Two teams, you don't usually see this level of commitment and buy-in from Division Two uh, communities the way they support their programs. And here is I'll, I'll mute this. Um, here is a good video. I, I don't know what the resolution on this is going to be. This is a this is a Facebook find right here. This has not been vetted, uh, but we're throwing it up anyways. This is a look at the Gorilla Walk down in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Look at the amount of people showing up to this thing. You can see in the kind of the bottom right corner there, that's the gorilla statue. Come by, give them a little knucks, keep it moving for the fellas there, fully suited up. Got the pet band, parking lot, tailgates going on. Just an absolutely outstanding crowd and atmosphere. That's what makes Pitt State different, man. This stuff is incredible. You just don't see this at the Division II level um, almost at all. Like they're almost in their own league at this point when it comes to uh those kind of things i have a couple more photos here i think of the uh here's a good 
here's a good couple ones of the uh, gorilla walk here. I'll pull this up. But again, man, I think this all goes into like the game day atmosphere and other things. This is a great shot of the gorilla walk pregame. You get a good idea of that size of that statue right there. It looks like they even got a stage for some live music, other things going on. They're doing it right. The Gorillas are doing it right down there. Uh, they host Ferris State in a battle of two top five teams in week zero this fall, August, I believe, 28th or 29th. That is going to be electric. They got two national championships in their program history. Like I said, winningest football team in D2. The Pittsburgh State Gorillas, man. That's Who else to start the stadium series than Pitt State? There's a lot of great ones to come.